Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Miss Tink. That's M I Z Z N I M I S S. Got the coffee on deck. You already know. Oh, I'm tired. Got a lot of shit to do today, so I want to get through this video ASAP. Anyway, so Love and Hip Hop, uh, New York episode nine, season six, whatever. Love and War. So yeah, it picks up where we left off. Where uh. Uncle Broke and Cisco No Drew Hill and Snow No Flake and all that situation, whatever. Snow Flake walk outside. Uncle Broke and No Drew Hill, they go back and forth like some butt hurt bitches. In my eyes, I just mad because a female did y'all the same way y'all be doing these other bitches. Talking about they was, um, Uncle Broke was looking out for her. And then, of course, Cisco bringing up the whole diamond strawberry thing. Talking about you didn't care. Talking about I didn't care about Mariah Lynn. Stop playing, Uncle Broke. Because if you didn't care about Mariah Lynn, you wouldn't try to set up. You would have just charged that shit to the game, okay? Don't do it. You was butt hurt. You was mad that a female got your ass back the way you got, you know what I'm saying, the way you be doing them, okay? Must we forget your track record? And Cisco, no Drew Hill, nigga, please. You mad because what, nigga? You was in Atlanta probably fucking your baby mamas and you got mad because she bypassed your ass. Y'all was never exclusive. It is what it is. Don't do it. Both of y'all motherfuckers just mad because a female did y'all the same way y'all do them other females. Creep Squad, Creep Squad look like they got one up by Snow No Flake. I'm just saying and I'm gonna sip on that. Anyways, they talk some more. They like they're finna go back and forth. I don't care. I really wasn't paying attention. They look like, again, some bitter-ass beige bitches. And then, you know, of course, they about to fight. Um, security got in the way. Security looked like, I don't know, looked like he was kind of scared of Cisco. But Cisco pushed, pushed his ass. I'm, I'm saying I think Cisco would have dropped Uncle Broke. I'm just saying it is what it is. And then he goes outside. Snow no flake. Why the fuck are you still there? Mona didn't call that Uber for you, or did she tell you to stay there? They go outside, she's talking and talking about what you did was fucked up, da 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 and then he's talking about, you know, I got this thing to deal with, Uncle Broke, and now you. Mariah Lynn was like, fuck that shit, it's over with, I'm done, and then she turns around and pose, like, nigga, look at what you missing. Mariah Lynn, girl, I told you about them clothes, girl, look like they saying take me off because you ain't feeling them out right, okay? Stop it, girl, but I'm saying, still, Mona should have been called you that Uber so you can get your ass on, I'm just saying, look like you was a little cold in them New York streets, girl, standing in them heels. I'm just saying, let's go and get to the next. So I can't even get the words out right, y'all. Forgive me. Let's go and get to the next scene. All right, anyways, uh, Yamaha meets up with her little sister, whatever, you know, shooting the tea or whatever. Samara, I like her. Samara, like, look, what's going on with you and DJ No Self Esteem? Because this is what I see on Instagram. This is what I heard on the radio. Um, you know, some um, picture of him and, you know, Broke Flower or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, I guess Broke Flower called the radio. He gave her a shout out and Broke Flower called the radio. Talk about, oh, we got a name, you bought me a name. Just as thirsty as she want. I'm like, bitch, do you really need some water for you wither and die? I'm just saying they call you Rose. You might need a little water. Maybe that's why you thirsty so you won't wither, bitch. Pedal start falling. I'm just saying, I, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't like Broke Flower because that bitch is thirsty. She is too pretty to be that fucking thirsty. I can't stand a female that can get any man she want, but you thirsty over it, over a nigga that probably got somebody you don't even ask questions. You just throw your ass on him. That's why you look stupid. Yamaha do too, but at least he was claiming that was his girl at the time. He didn't claim her when he was with you, so that's still some fucked up shit. Either way, bitch, call ask questions before you just open your legs. Y'all hoes don't believe in asking questions. Better be glad you didn't catch nothing. Anyways, um, after that, Samara was like, you know, you want to go to her shop? Beauty balls right right above the street. We can go. Samara like, bitch, we could go check this hole. We go check DJ self-esteem. Either way, I'm down for both. This is my sister. You ain't finna be playing around my big sister. I ain't mad at you, Samara. First, um, you know, Yamaha was like, I don't know. But then she ultimately gives in. So they finna go to beauty bar and confirm broke flowers. So mm, it is what it is. Let's go and get to the next scene. All right, Remy goes to this little wedding thing. Wedding dresses was pretty. And lo and behold, Yandy shows up. Don't get fucked with nobody say. Mona put that shit together. So now Yandy's giving her two cents in on the wedding or whatever. She's like, let's do sparkles and this and that and that and that. And Remy like, I don't like sparkles. I, I don't like this. And then Remy already saying, is this bitch coming here trying to make this her wedding? This is my wedding. You know, she didn't say it like that. But, you know, the, the look on her face. Like, bitch, this is my wedding, not yours. It's what I said goes. Just because your input on sparkles, bitch, I don't like sparkles. I'm going to need you to understand that. So then uh, they go on talk about what's going on with Remy and whatever, how she feels, you know, situation with her mom and her family and stuff. And that's when, you know, I agree with Yandy on this, even though I don't like her this season. Talk to your mom. Call her. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, a wedding is not a wedding without your mom, depending on the situation, because some kids do not get along with their parents at all. So sometimes some kids be like, fuck mom and dad. I don't need them there. I got you. So, hey. But in this situation, since, yes, call your mom. 
get your mom there, you know, it is what it is, just, just do what you got to do, Remy, so you can feel better, and Remy's like, okay, I'm going to do that to make herself feel better, because she's stressed out, you know, let's go and get to the next scene. All right, we see Cameron and Mendici meet up in the studio. Mona, you couldn't afford Jim Jones, so you have to get the person that get paid more in Dipset, a.k.a. Cameron, who went further than Jim. All right, Mona, you probably have to pay him a grip. Anyways, man, DC's he's in the studio talking about, you know, ever since he got his sentence pushed back, now he's thinking about doing more positive things, you know, being around his kids, doing more stuff to, you know, so his kids won't have to worry about anything. And this nigga coming out with a sticker line, I'm like, uh-oh, what's it called, the Convict Collection? All right, that's your shoe collection name? Okay. You know, and I, I got to give it to what some of these females probably might see in Mandy's. He does have some nice, pretty white teeth. So, gone, gone. That's how you're supposed to do with the Mona checks. Get them. I'm telling you, when I get them, I'm just saying, go ahead. Anyways, he said, you know, he had a 16, you know. So, he goes into the studio and drop it. He sounds okay. Better than Mo Bad Blues and damn show better than BBOD together. But, okay. Cameron, like, nigga, you been doing this. He's like, nah, man, nah, nah. And then, you know, that's how that scene goes. And then they go on to the next scene. So let's get there. Remy and Papoose, they at home. Uh, Remy decides to talk to her mom. So her mom's coming over. Miss Maddie. All right, Miss Maddie with the bang. Okay. You know, I, I see Remy and her. Or should I say, I see Maddie and Remy. I wonder what her daddy look like. So, you know, they talking, whatever. And, and then that's when her mom was like, I couldn't afford to go and everything. You don't know what it feels like to know that or to think that your daughter doesn't love you or... And it, what what she say? Oh, hates you. Yeah. You don't know what it feels like if, you know... You know, it feels like walking around thinking that your daughter hates you and stuff. And all she wanted was just Remy to ask her not pat poo. So Remy's like, you know, she just, you know, put her pride aside. They both prideful women be like, well, mom, will you come to the wedding? And she's like... Thank you. That's all I want. I was like, oh, you know, they got that together. Get a girl, get a girl, get a girl, get a girl. Anyways, let me get the rest of Remy and Papoose out the way because it wasn't really nothing with them. Remy and Papoose, after that, go to some dinner or whatever. And then she tells him, you know, I want to change the venue. And he's like, damn, I done already put the down payment on the castle. Bitch, you try to break me? I'm just saying that I'm, I'm cheap. I get it from my daddy. And I don't mind. That wouldn't have been me and mine. Bitch, you know, we're going to have it at this castle because it's money you put down, bitch. We could do a honeymoon or another wedding or whenever, wherever you want to be. But right now, where this money at, where your dream was, you're going to stick to this dream. That would have been me. I'm just saying. I'm cheap like that. I ain't just going to be throwing money around not in this economy, okay? I could be doing other shit with this damn money. But, hey, it is what it is. She got what she wanted. I'm happy for her. Let's go and get to some more shit. Y'all, I hate spiral notebooks. I really do because this right here... I can't stand that shit. Anyways, off that. Um, anyways, Yamaha and her sister go to, you know, the ugly bar, a.k.a. the beauty bar to go see, you know, Broke Flower and her friend or whatever. They all talking. Broke Flower already knew who she was. Talk about, well, I'm with him. And, you know, she claiming that she fucked him. She claiming she sucked his dick. And then she claiming that um, if um, she fuck him again, she wouldn't wouldn't be there. Saying that if this really is um, DJ No Self Esteem girlfriend, that he gonna have something explaining to do. Whatever, Broke Flower. That's what you get for not asking questions instead of just opening up your pussy like that. That's what you get, girl, okay? Deal with the consequences. And one more thing, girl, your friend, whoever that bitch is assistant, girl, tell whoever did her makeup, they need to do it better because I should not be able to see them craters in her face like this. This is not Grease, okay? Grease 1 and 2, and she's crater face girlfriend. Tell her, no, ma'am. Y'all, one second, my phone's ringing. Yeah, so anyways, back to what I was saying. Again, uh, Mona, you know you was wrong for putting that girl out there like that. You make all this money. You mean to tell me you couldn't find a good enough makeup artist to get these damn craters that look like she done been to the moon and back? Better yet, it's worse than the moon craters on her face? Come on now. Don't come on TV looking like that. Don't let Mona embarrass you like that, girl. I'm just saying. They go back and forth or whatever. And Samara, she down. She like, bitch, come around them up a counter. Broke Flower came around the counter. Of course, security was going to try to back up. I think Samara and Broke Flower, that would have been a good fight. Because Samara like, bitch, I, I ain't got time for this shit we could do this you know and then of course yamaha takes to destroying or whatever to throwing the merchandise everywhere throwing shit everywhere and then that's when um her damn crater face assistant want to jump into security backing them up they trying to get yamaha and her sister out i was like both of y'all bitches look dumb but again broke flower girl you should have asked questions don't get mad because if you was in the same position you probably feel the same way too but then again yamaha you should have took that up with your man first and then probably go check the female but definitely your man first I'm just saying, but Samira, I like you, girl. You like, bitch, fuck that. This is my sister. We gonna get down. But, you know, of course, all that shit was staged. Let's go and get to some more shit. 
All right, so after that, Yamaha goes see DJ No Self Esteem, tell him what happened. She was like, who's this chick and all of this stuff, talking about my sister right here. And she's like, you better be glad we both ain't beating you down. Because I, 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 I ain't even going to lie, I think Samira probably want to take off of him and beat the fuck out of him. He's like, who is that? I got, you know, I take pictures with girls all the time. She's like, did you fuck her? She's like, no, I didn't fuck her. Did you kiss? And he couldn't even say nothing. She's like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done. And walks off. Girl, I don't give a shit what nobody say. I am not wearing them type of heels, walking down them new them New York streets, where's my Uber at? Mona should have called you a Uber, y'all. I'm just saying. Couldn't have been me walking down them hills. Not in them New York streets. I can't even get the words out. That's how bad I wouldn't be walking down them damn streets in them hills. I'm just saying, no ma'am. Anyway, it's gonna get to some other shit. Alright, so after we see Yamaha and her sister walking down them NYC streets and them pumps, girl, no. Again, I'm sorry, I've been in New York before. And if you've been in New York, you already know. You need a pair of flats right next to you. Okay, okay. Or some damn, um, I don't know, some sandals or something. But damn sure not them type of heels. Walking them. Mm. But then again, an Uber probably was on the corner. You know how morning he is. I have to be dramatic. Dirty Feet and Uncle Broke. They meet up or whatever. He tells them about the whole situation with him and Tara. And I felt where Uncle Broke was saying, like, nigga, you was irresponsible and selfish. Then he tells them the thing going on with Cisco. So now, Dirty Feet want to be the damn Mimi other damn thing and get uh, the creep squad and get them together to talk like this is love and hip-hop Atlanta and that's um Carly Red and Cisco's K Michelle no stop it Mona stop recycling people's storylines or you know should I say scenes anyways um after that Remy or whatever um is at the gym whatever she wants to meet up with Rashida Lee talk to her about it because you know they haven't had a talk since the whole blow up and she's trying to make up with her friends Rashida Lee was like, oh, you missed me. She's like, well, you didn't call. She said, no, I did call you. You didn't call me. Just because I was mad at you did not mean that I wasn't going to help you with your wedding. You know what I'm saying? I, and I felt where Rashida Lee was coming from. Then all of a sudden, he uh, she brings up Yandy, and mm, she was like, okay, whatever. And then that's when Yandy shows up with the little race trainer and everything, girl. I'm not even going to go there. Thank God I don't need one. That's all I'm going to say because I can't be wearing that shit all the time. But I don't knock any lady that do work it, boo, okay? Because they got better bodies than me with that. All right. But, um... Uh, Rashida Lee looking like, mm. she ain't even happy. You can see it all in her face. She looking at that room like, bitch, I'm not here for you. Even Yandy knew. Yandy like, whatever, you know, whatever, Yandy. I, I would have probably looked at your ass too, how you was throwing shade or whatever. You know, you you know, y'all two don't like each other. Then that's when uh, Remy says, I'm going to give you an assignment, give you an assignment. You do this, you do that. And, um, you know, that's when Yandy was like, I done already owned your wedding. I done already did. And, you know, I already said I owned it. I'm going to be a party. I'm going to do this. Da, da, da. And Rashida Lee looking like, well, do you know her favorite color? He go, Yandy, no. Okay, do you know when her birthday is? No. Well, I'm just saying because, you know, she's your best friend. She's going to have to get to know you. I mean, I, I didn't even get mad. I felt where you coming from, Rashida Lee. Bitch, don't be sitting up here trying to be my best friend, my best friend's best friend. We don't even know shit about her. I think you're going to come and take over and wreck shop. Even though I felt like maybe, um, you know, Rashida Lee was a little pressed. I'm just saying, I already don't like you, so therefore I'm shade you as much as I can. Just like you be shading me as quickly as you can. I'm, I'm just saying. I, I couldn't even be mad at Remy and Nessus because I don't really care for Yandy and all the shit she did. But come on, Rashida Lee. Just, you know, pull your big panties on. Be like, okay, whatever, bitch. I'm going to help you fuck this hoe. What you need me to do? I don't give a fuck about this bitch. You could have did that, too. I'm just saying, I would have probably did that, but I was here for that shade part, though. You know, how she was asking them serious questions that only a best friend would know. Since you claiming that you, you know what I'm saying, own or a part of this wedding. I'm just saying. After that or whatever, we see the Creep Squad meeting up, having this old rehash loving Hip Hop Atlanta meetup. You know, like I said before. And, you know, Cisco, like, I ain't done with this shit. I'm still pissed off about the bullshit. It is what it is. I'm down for round two. Uncle Bro looking like, mm whatever and then you know tell me, I came here to bring y'all together this is what Dirty Fee said came here to bring y'all together you know so we can talk you know it's a creep squad we can't let no girl come into fuck all three of y'all niggas with a sick dick yeah I said it Dirty Feet, I can't stand you you need to get a vasectomy okay and go some fucking well Uncle Broke, baby, go take care of them kids that you got. Instead of always trying to be a creep squad. I, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for Ashley in the future. I'm surprised she ain't knocked up yet. But then again, you never know what her mama. But then again, they ain't able to get that belly ring. I'm just saying, whatever. Cisco, baby, you a lost cause with me. That's why I call you Cisco No Drew Hill. Not even a group, won't you? But that's pretty much how it is. I'm not finna go into the sneak peek, y'all. So, hey, it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm Miss Tink. That's M-I-Z-Z, not M-I-S-S. You already know, check out my sister's website, check out my cousin Tremaine website, of course, check out my girl T website and her YouTube, all in the disclaimer box. Of course, official Maharashi, of course, my girl Tamaya, of course, my girl Jasmine Washington, and of course, my boo, Justin J1232. Alright, y'all have a blessed one. I'm finna get out of here, go run my little errand. Alright, y'all have a blessed one. Bye.